Here we go. Let's take a look at some other examples that are fairly common. We've already kind of looked at this, the single author, right? Nunberg Jeffrey, surname, first name, comma, editor. Now, in this case, this is a book that has an editor. That means it's not just one book by one author, but rather it's a book that has chapters in it. Those chapters have different authors or are made up by different people. We may or may not know who those people are, but we do know the editor in this case is Nunberg, Jeffrey, editor. You pay attention to that lowercase e after the comma and then a period there at the end. We always have that period after we have the introduction of who is responsible for writing this material, who's the source. The future of the book. Now this is in italics, written at the angle. It is not in quotations, so we know this must be the bigger container, not the smaller container. In this case, a book. Where is it from? It's from University of California, P. P, P meaning what? Press. University Press. And again, that's a normal abbreviation that MLA guidelines tell us. Comma, space, 1996. 1996 being the year of publication for that book.